What's going on guys, Ultimate Nerd Show here. Today we're opening more Marvel Legends set. Sorry it's a little bit close, just the new setup doesn't work out that well. But here we've got the Marvel Legends set of the X-Men Wave. I don't know what X-Men Wave is, they've had so many of them. But as you can see, we've starting off with Wolverine here. Of course this is for the build figure of Apocalypse, so you can see... Um, I guess you can't really see parts, but you can see like the tendrils there for Apocalypse. But of course starting off first here, we've got Wolverine. Then as we move on, we've got Magneto and Gladiator there. And there you can see Apocalypse's face in that one. Then we've got Sabretooth and Storm. And then Multiple Man and Psylocke there at the very end. So we're going to go ahead, as usual, open each one of them, take a look at it, and then at the very end put the Apocalypse Build-A-Figure together and everything. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first up here we have Wolverine. Of course, everyone knows and remembers Wolverine. And so this is the classic looking uniform of the yellow and Black or blue, I don't know exactly what you call it. Of course, it's not his yellow and gray outfit that he wore, I think, originally and stuff, but then switched to this once joining the X-Men and everything. And so this figure looks really cool, but as usual, there's some issues going on with it. But I like what they did here because, well, I'll show it later on, um, maybe with the next person compared to others. He is smaller, which, of course, Wolverine, I think, is usually about five foot is his character's height, but you know, in like the movies and stuff, as Hugh Jackman, he's a tall guy, but he's supposed to be real short and vicious and everything. But of course, he's got the Weapon X stuff in him, so it gives him, you know, super like powers of like, I think, like sh uh, strength. And of course, he has the healing and everything. He's got the Metal Claws, of course, um, from the Weapon X thing, giving him animanium in his body and stuff. And so he's got the claws here, which of course, on Marvel Legends, never turn out too good. But just an up close look here, so there's a look at his face there as you can see a good sculpt on it's got you know some issues going on down there and everything but of course really nice and everything i like again the whole this original costume of the black and yellow then of course with the blue you know um spots here and there and stuff but going into the figure um as we saw in the last episode this new thing they're kind of adding in is like this butterfly effect on the shoulder for some characters here so he does have these blue like shoulder pads here that are attached to the shoulders so they're just a thing on so they move and everything but he's got all the arm movements you know of a normal figure but then he also has this butterfly joint movement there so you can get some you know extra posability out of him and everything and then of course has the double elbow joints and the wrist joints and everything the turnaround then his claws here so um they do move so i don't know if this is a new thing that they're doing or if they're like possibly broken but they look like they can rotate i mean they don't seem very strong so you may have to be careful with them because I forget what figure it was, but it was a um, maybe X-23 or something. Her claws broke off or something. Um, so my brother had to glue them back on and everything. Um, so it's, I don't know exactly about this, but they do move. So they do have some possibility because they don't, you know, come in the box all weird. So you can like readjust them kind of. Um, the middle ones seem the harder ones to do, but you can readjust them, so I like that they threw that in there if they did. Then, of course, has the ab crunch and everything. Then he's got, the, of course, the X-Men, or the X there on his belt for when he's a part of the X-Men group. Then he's got the blue trunks on, continuing on with the yellow down into the blue and black boots, which, again, it's like his face mask, but here on the boots and stuff, and I really like that. And, again, he is a shorter character, so, like I said, so I like how they made him short and everything, and this looks, looks really cool. Obviously, um... The paint job on this doesn't look too bad. Of course, there's a nasty, like, mark there on the back. But the paint job on all these Marvel Legends are not the best. They have seem like they've gotten cheaper over time and stuff. And so they don't look that good. I don't know if you can see there on the nose. Like, it's got, like, a blackish yellow, like, mixture going in there on that nose piece there. So it doesn't look too good there. But for Wolverine, of course, he does come with some extra claws here, or hands, so you can do it without the claws, so if you don't want those claws going on there, or wrist breaking them and stuff, you can, of course, put these gloves, hands on him, and then, of course, does the uh, claw things there where they would come out and everything, but he doesn't have them on there. And for the build figure of Apocalypse, we get the tubes as we saw earlier. So we've got the tubes here that, of course, you'll attach to him once you build the figure and everything there. So we've got that. And then just from his box here, it says Razor Sharp Claws and Incredible Accelerated Healing Ability make Wolverine a nearly unstoppable threat. So that sounds pretty awesome, everything. So that's going to be it for the Wolverine figure. And next up here, we've got Magneto. And so this is a cool looking Magneto. And I'm pretty sure this is based off the more modern version of what he currently looks like in the comics and everything. So that's why in Instead of the old like purple and red outfit, he's got the black and red going on here. And this just looks really cool. I really like 
this. So here we're starting off with his helmet. Of course, he does have the classic helmet look. Um, maybe more of like the movie looking versions possibly, but it's still, you know, got that classic, you know, design of the um, sleek, smooth helmet. And then, of course, the face cut out part here. And you can see there in his face, um, I thought maybe his helmet came off on this because you can see you can kind of... Um, you know, like pull some of the sides off and see his face in there and everything, but it's stuck on there and we'll see something here in a second. But he does have, you know, the white, you can see his white eyebrows because of course he's an old man so he's got white hair and everything. Then he's got the white eyes so he's there doing, you know, like using his powers and everything which you can see there by his hands is what's going on there so that looks really cool. Then he's got his cape which I think it looks cool but again capes on Marvel Legends are horrible. So I like this design here so with this red piece going on here and then it's got the shoulder pads and everything. But then the cape comes off of it and just hangs back so it's just a red uh, black cape with red underneath. But then of course has these stupid little pig things that you know stick in there but then they just fall right out again so it doesn't hold and that annoys the crap out of me I hate how they do that with their capes and everything and again talking about paint jobs you can see you know like some of the red is messed up there on the back of course it gives him look like he's you know been in battle and stuff possibly but I still don't like how they messed up that and then we'll see more here then going into his body so he just has the normal joints um everything I like these red gauntlets there on his hands of course his uh, purple call it yeah purple hands here translucent hands so you can see you know you can see through them and everything I think they look really cool but we'll see more about that in a second so then of course has these red stripes on his black outfit again they're like darker red because the red you know was kind of clear uh, lighter than the black so the black's still coming through so it makes them look even darker then going to of course down here then it looks really dark going around in there so it looks like the paint's not too good then in like his uh hip area here um this side looks a lot darker compared to this side and everything than his legs and of course down here they just look horrible like it's so like dark coming in here and you can see some of the paint missing and stuff so not too good and then it looks like some of like the clear coat they put on or whatever is faded out here so it's real um like a matte finish or something it's very bland and not shiny going in there as you can see then down to his boots which i like how the boot design matches the gauntlet design there and everything so i really like all of that um so we'll look at his hands now so as you can see he is doing you know the translucent purple stuff i obviously assume that's using his powers and so that means he does come with these purple things i assume you just stick them on his arm it looks like he's doing lightning um the picture or the box doesn't have pictures on how he holds these because that's usually how I have to look at him to see how you put these on. But obviously, usually they just wrap around the arms and everything. I don't know if they go on in any certain order or anything, but you can stick that on. So it's obviously, again, as he's supposed to be using his magnetic abilities and everything. But usually, no, it's just he does it. He doesn't have any stuff coming off. So I don't know if that's just a new thing they're doing for the comics and everything but I think it looks quite like the still adding the purple in there of like the original character and stuff but if you don't want that uh, helmet and everything on there and you just want to see the guy you do have the face here so of course the um, Eric I don't know how to say his last name face here again he's got the longish white hair I really like the look of that and everything and then of course the eyebrows and then he's got his eyes open there and they're the blue eyes as you can see there and then it's just a normal looking face so you can switch that out if you want to as well if you don't want those purple hands he does come with some extra hands just of the black like glove so you can do that as well if you want to add those in there and then just for the apocalypse figure we've got his right hand here so we've got that piece and from his box says living up to his namesake magneto is a master manipulator of magnetism controlling and using its energy to defeat his enemies so there we go for magneto and next up here we have Gladiator. So this is a character probably not familiar to most people, you know, that don't, you know, know a whole lot about comics like I'm one. I've seen him before and know the name, but I don't know much of anything about it. So I looked some stuff up on him, and so of course his name is going on here as Gladiator. But his real name is Calark, I think is how you spell it, um, say it, Calark, something like that. And he is a Strontian alien, and so he's from, of course, another world and possibly dimension and stuff with knowing how Marvel works with everything. And so he's a different form of alien and stuff and I believe he is a good guy he started out as a bad guy but it seemed like as time went on stuff he did turn good but would be bad when like people would uh, possess him or take control of his body or something but I do believe that in more recent stuff he has been a good guy and everything and I did just want to show just to show the height difference uh, here um, between Wolverine and him and stuff so you can't see 
how much height difference there is between the characters. I just want to show that off with Wolverine there. But for him, there's not much going on here. So, of course, we'll look at his face here. So, he's got the purple face and the uh, the mohawk. He's got pointy ears and everything. And I really like the look of him, the white eyes going on there. But I like the mohawk with the blue inserted into it. Usually, I think it's just a blue mohawk. But I like how they did the black with the blue the, uh, details going into that and everything. I did like that. Of course, he does have a cape. And so, again, it's another cape that I hate. And I can't really... I guess it is in the hole, the little peg thing is in the hole, but it just doesn't seem to look right. Um, this cape reminds me a lot of Doctor Strange, mostly because, you know, it's the same color. It's got the or same color of the red and the yellow, and then it's got the high color here, you know, coming up around his head and everything. Then I like the clasp and all that. But again, it's a cape on Marvel Legends, so they're, I don't like those and stuff. Then we got this logo, triangle logo on his chest, I assume to be a logo of the Strontians or just whatever for his race. I assume to be kind of like a, you know, Superman logo and stuff going on there. Um, and then he's got his uh, black outfit here. Uh, it's like a dark blue almost. I, yeah, you can kind of see it in there. And then the red going on on the arms, and of course, in the midsection here. And then he's got a belt, a yellow belt on there. So it's very much like a Superman character by the looks and colors and everything. Then, of course, continuing on with the blue and then into the red into his legs. So nothing real special going on, just a normal Marvel Legend character. So when I looked up stuff, some of his, um, like, a powers and stuff so he has superhuman ability so he has all the stuff you know super uh strength um like uh speed uh, whatever you want to say like that superhuman abilities are he's got it so that makes him he can fly and everything so he's just kind of pretty much like a superman i mean he doesn't shoot laser and stuff but he's like a very hard to fight like defeat guy so when he's fighting people it's really hard for them to beat him and everything uh, but he doesn't come with any other accessories or anything but for apocalypse he does come with apocalypse head there so you can see the apocalypse ugly face with a uh, weird looking mouth there but from his box it says the leader of the imperial guard gladiator shoots heat beams from his oh so there he does he shoot beams <laughs> from his eyes and commands his forces with formidable strength so pretty much this guy seems like a superman ripoff but in like a weird alien form but that's going to be it for the gladiator the next up here we've got Sabretooth so I really like this figure a lot so we got Sabretooth aka Victor Creed here and Wolverine's brother and everything so this is more of his classic looking design and I really like the way he looks in this version compared to you know what they would usually do with like movies and stuff but you're starting off with his face you can see he's got the nasty um, sharp teeth there because he'll eat people and everything and then I like how the like fur probably probably like uh beer or what it like beard type stuff or something probably coming off his face but by the looks it could be built into his mask so it's hard to tell whether it's that or if it's his mask is cut out and that is you know like a beard or some beard hair like uh um sideburns and stuff going on there but i really like it then he's got the nasty white eyes with the red around it so he's looking super evil like the hair you know sticking out of the top of his costume there then going down into his outfit here so he does have the fur coming off you know just you know add some more fur around him and everything make him look like a saber tooth and or stuff like that with the fur around their neck like a mane and stuff then his outfit so he's got the yellow and black so this i wonder if this is why they changed wolverine's old costume because they introduced saber tooth and you know wanted his collars like this not exactly sure but he's got the all brown going in there with the yellow underneath it and I really like again more stripes they're going on like wolverine and everything so i like the way they fit together then of course on his hand here he does have the claws so you can't see the very sharp um fingers going on there because of course he'll you know scratch and claw things and stuff and then going down into his legs all yellow until you get to the feet with the brown which i really like that design for some reason just the brown added on to the end there and everything again a normal marvel legend nothing special going on with any sort of movements or anything but i did it seems like they're making their thighs a bit bigger um which I was looking at the females like, well, if they made the guys bigger, did they make the females? And they do look maybe a little bit bigger. Maybe I'm just used to like um, my like Power Ranger figures and stuff that have the skinny legs. And so they're a little bit bigger than that. But I like that because it helps them, you know, stay stronger and sturdier in everything. Um, for accessories, he does not come with anything, but he does comes with the left arm of Apocalypse there, so we're getting further along on Apocalypse. And from his box says, A skilled assassin armed with sharp beast-like fangs and claws, Sabretooth is a paid mercenary of evil. So he's an evil guy. So that's going to be it for Sabretooth. Next up here we have Storm, a.k.a. Aurora Monroe. And so again, this is her more recent 
look and design from the comics and everything, which I really like this. I think it looks or makes her look a lot cooler. But of course, I do like the 92 X-Men look uh, as well also. Um, so going up here in her face, you can see her face there again. She's got the white eyes. A lot of these characters, like almost everyone has like white eyes, so it's weird. But you can see her face there with her shaved head and then, of course, her white hair mohawk, which again, I like that she has white hair and everything. I think it makes it look a lot cooler. She's got the lightning bolt earrings going on there, which looks cool and stuff. And then she's in like a punk rock type outfit and stuff. So she's in all black leather. I like how she's got the choker collar around her neck there with a studded one. Then she's got a little tiny, you know, leather jacket, you know, that doesn't like close all the way or anything. Then a black leather shirt and pants going into her. She's got uh, gloves on. I like how she's got her hands out and everything. Of course, controlling the weather and everything. And ooh, and this piece even like slides or twists around and everything. Uh, but of course, she has all the normal joints of a female and stuff. So same, you know, elbow sh and shoulder joints, like that hand joints, um, waist. And she does have a little bit of ab movement. You can, like, twist her, but she doesn't really move a whole lot beyond that. Then going down, she's got, um, you know, two belts going on here, which is part of her new character design. The two belts that don't really do anything. They're just there for design and aesthetic and everything. Then going down into her legs again, continuing on with the all-black leather, down into her high-heeled black leather boots there. So as a character, now not much is going on. Like I liked when, like I said, the 92 where she was wearing the um, all-white, you know, like, outfit. Um... But this one looks a lot cooler, makes her look a lot younger and everything there. But of course, I like she's, you know, I mentioned her hands being out like that and everything. And of course, you have these accessories to go on, like Magneto, but this time for this, um, to, for storms, you know, and stuff. And so she has what would obviously, I mean, I assume to be lightning going on here. So you can, of course, they're very loose on her hands. Um, but you can put some lightning going on there, like it's shooting off and she's, con you know, going to electrocute somebody and everything. Uh, just kind of stayed on there, not going on there too good. She is having some issues standing. Um, her The way she was in the box, she was kind of like crooked and supposed to be flying, but I think that kind of messed up this leg joint over here, and she does not want to stand. Just stand up for me, please. Okay, and so for Apocalypse, she does come with the main body of Apocalypse there, so you can see all that. Of course, we'll look at it once we put it all together in a second. And from her box says, An infinity for the magical elements make Aurora Monroe the mistress of weather manipulation, Storm. So that's going to be it for this Storm figure. Next up here, we've got Multiple Man, a.k.a. James Madrox. And so this guy is, you know, not really anything special going on, but he does look kind of cool. I like the way they designed him here. But he is Multiple Man, so his abilities, of course, is that he can duplicate himself. So you can be him and just, you know, make a whole bunch of him form around him and everything. And so it can, you know, you be used to distract people and all that sort of thing. So looking at him here, so here's a look at his face. So he's got like an evil, angry looking face going on there. Then, of course, he's got this covering around his head with the X on it. Um... So I like that his X-Men logo is there up on his head and everything. Then, of course, he's got the yellow and blue outfit for the X-Men going on here. He does have some design there with this, um, the circles and stuff on his chest. But I like, you know, it's just this, like, triangle there. A yellow, the circle and stuff there. And then the, like, rib pieces. And then the rest of him is all blue. So that kind of fits. And then he's got this brown leather, like, trench coat going on here. Um, so I like the way to design that. I like this design here going up into the uh, collar sticking up and everything. But they designed him with the coat, so instead of, you know, being able to take the coat off or anything, it's just built on with him. So, like, you know, the, how his arms are all brown and everything coming out to his gloves, where he's got this outfit on. They, I like how they designed this so it has, you know, movements of rotation and then also of the bend. So, usually they, you know, just have the joints that can just bend like this, but I like since they did the coat, they made it twist around and everything, too, so, you know, to fit the with this joint for the raincoat and everything so i like how they did that then beyond that he's just got all the basic normal movements of a marvel legend nothing special going on beyond that and of course he doesn't have any like he doesn't have much abilities and stuff so he's not really anything sort of special but since he is multiple man and can make multiple of himself he does have some extra head so here is a look of just his face here so without the like head covering and stuff so there's a look and it's just like a normal looking face there so you can switch that out if you want or you can do a face that looks you know more happy instead of the angry 
you know, uh, snarling face or whatever you want to call it. He's got, you know, a little bit of a smile and everything, so he looks much nicer. And I don't know if he's doing it or not, but I know my brother, which, of course, all these Marvel Legends are his. He was going to buy multiple of these to do, you know, multiple men, you know, at least three of them and stuff, so that's showing his powers and everything, but I don't know if he did that or not. But you can do those two heads. And then for Apocalypse, he does come with the right leg. Yeah, it looks like the right leg there of Apocalypse there. Almost done. One more piece left for him. And from his box says, not to be duped by duplication, Jamie Madrox uses the ability to clone himself to assign liaisons to travel the world and acquire new skill sets. So that's going to be it for Multiple Man. Then our last figure here is of Psylocke, a.k.a. Betsy Braddock. And so this is an interesting character, you know, more recent character added into the X-Men universe. I think probably in like the late 90s, 2000, maybe could be before that. And I just don't remember um, that much about it and stuff. But I think I really like her. Now for figure-wise, she has some issues for me. Um, but first off, I really like her face coming over here. Um, like the face design they did with the lipstick and the blue eyes and everything. But I really like the hair, the long purple hair that they added into it. And I'm pretty sure this has been at least a second Psylocke figure they've done on Marvel Legends in the past few years. Maybe I'm just thinking of something else, but this does seem really familiar. But then she's just got her skimpy purple outfit going on here. So you can see it's just like a bathing suit almost coming down to there and everything. Then she's got the purple bands on her arms going into her gloves and everything. I do like how she wears this like red scarf around her waist as like a belt. I don't know what's supposed to be for, but I like how they have that on the character in general and stuff. Then she's got more of those bands around her legs going into the purple boots, of course, high thigh high boots and everything there but some of the issues is the paint job so as you can see up close here they did not do a very good job at all painting around her arms and everything and um, like her hips and stuff they just didn't do a good job painting and then like at the tops you know see it looks just like all faded out and everything I, so they did not do a good paint job on this figure at all but she has a normal girl figure and stuff so she has all the same movements probably more more arm movements than Storm did and everything going on there but I really like it so she has the joints like uh, multiple man did man did so you know it twi can twist around and also bend as well so I like those sort of joints gives you more posability and everything um, just for some weapon stuff she comes with quite a bit so first off she's got this helmet thing which I've never seen her wear but I think it looks really cool see if we can put it on here maybe goes like that I think it looks cool she looks kind of like you know Scarlet Witch though the comic version with that on but I really like that then some other stuff we've got some our uh, fist like sword type I don't know what you call it because uh, we'll talk about her powers here in just a second if I can get this on her hand but she forms little weapons like this with her powers um, around her hands and stuff so it's sworn into like a spike you know she could stab someone with then she has her sword here that you can also stick into her hand let's see if we can stick it in there real quick like that and so then it's got the powers going around it too you can see this whole thing which can come off wrapped around the sword there as well so I like that whole sort of thing so for her powers and everything just so you can like understand some stuff so she has telekinetic powers telekinesis or telekinesis whatever telepathy and she forms these weapons like this from her um, psychic energy so stuff she can do she can form these out of her hands I like the whole pink color and everything that it is and from the box says Betsy Braddock adopts the identity of Sila combining mastery of martial arts with enhanced abilities of telekinesis and telepathy so they're just about the same thing stuff so that's gonna be it for Psylocke and I forgot I made it from Silas, but she did come with the left leg of Apocalypse. So there we have all the pieces now. So let's go ahead and put him together. And we've got Apocalypse put together here now. And so this guy looks cool. So just for some size difference comparison, I had to adjust the camera so it's not going to look as good. But here's the Magneto figure, and there you can see Apocalypse. So they did make him a lot bigger, which I like that. But of course, I think pretty sure they did a, a Apocalypse build figure in the past, and he was like ginormous. So compared to that, he's a lot smaller than the old one and everything. But he looks really cool here. So we've got Apocalypse, aka. I can't remember how to say his name, but it's N. Saba Nur or something like that. Of course, we saw that in the Apocalypse X-Men movie and stuff. But there's, of course, a look at his evil-looking face, and I like the like design there on his head. I, 
it kind of looks like here, but I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be. It's just like whatever is going on with him is what it is. I like why he's got this suit and everything. I don't know exactly sure his whole story of why, you know, has the suit and everything, but he is like a mutant and uh, everything from like Egypt and stuff. So I don't know why the whole thing is going on here, but he's got his gray skin and everything going on. Then I like his outfit here. So it's got a bunch of metallic paint. So like here, these are like a metallic, it's like a blue green almost. It's got some like green hints going on there. So like all of these parts of that. Then we've got the metallic blue there and then like a metallic gray for like these inner parts here. So then he's got his um, gauntlets here, which again are the same color, the metallic like blue green there. Some more of the blue going into the fist there. And of course he's, you know, just the same figure as always. So he's got all the same like shoulder joints, elbows, you know, wrist. Um, he's got the ab crunch going on there, then his waist. And I like his belt here with the A on it for awesomeness. Because he's awesome. Not really. It's for Apocalypse. But this can obviously move around and everything. Then he's got his little, like, pants or whatever you want to call those. Like his underwear. Then he's got his legs going down here into his boots. Where I like his boots because they're, like, heavy, like, robot-looking boots. So, like, the knee cap ports there. Then his boots, which are ginormous and look very awesome and with like metal and everything he's got these little parts that of course move around for adjustment stuff but just add more looks and detail going into there then of course he's got the tubes so he's got these tubes attached to his belt that come around to his hands again i don't know exactly what they're supposed to do and usually he's got them on his head too and everything um but i don't know i assume it's supposed to keep him alive since he's so old but we'll just look at some or some of his powers here so he's got superhuman abilities again like everything else whatever you think superhuman abilities are that's what he's got He's a genius, he can fly, he's got matter manipulation, um, he's immortal, so that's why I was saying, you know, I, his suit may be keeping him alive, but he's, you know, immortal, so he can't really die. He's got a healing factor, he can shapeshift, telekinesis, teleportation, and telepathy. So he's just got all sorts of powers that he just kind of brings on and uses whenever he needs them stuff, so that's why he's like a super big threat, kind of, to the X-Men and everything there. So that's, I think, going to be it for this Marvel Legends set, of course, for the Build-A-Figure of Apocalypse here, with all of the X-Men figures going on. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know which figure is your favorite out of the set or who your favorite superhero out of the set is. And don't forget to subscribe to see more of our videos. And we'll see you next time.